Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with the search for the killer of a 15 year old girl found strangled in the South Shore neighborhood. Our Suzanne Lemonio live at the scene tonight where we're waiting to hear more from the teen's mother. Suzanne. Well, community activist Andrew Holmes is here right now, along with another community activist, the mother of Amaryse Parker, standing behind them right now. Let's listen in. You can see the grief written all over the mom's face, the dad's face. You know, we have a lot of um, people out there that are probably, you know, disgusted by this act. Not just one act, but there's also two other acts that happened recently with women that have been found. Uh, this, of course, today, um, we're wanting to make sure we get answers. Amarise Parker did not deserve this. She was found strangled. Imagine that. That's extremely hard to hear. It's extremely hard to say the words strangled to death, especially when the mother and father is present here. Imagine hearing those words from a detective. Somebody out there knows something. This is this is not a small act. Somebody has made a phone call. Somebody has told somebody this um, by the grace of God. Maybe there's some remorse or regret and maybe they want to talk to somebody about it or they're just the devils that we think they are and there's no remorse. But we know that you bragged about it. You've said something. You've told somebody something. If you know anything about this case, we're asking for information. You can call 1-800 the letter U and then the words tell us what now right now again we're waiting to hear from the mother of Amaris Parker when we have that interview we'll bring it to you reporting live in South Shore Suzanne Lemonio CBS 2 News Suzanne thank you